want to get your hands on one of the best keys in the game that's going to give you a lot of amazing loot, a chest, an armor set. It's going to give you some stuff that's even going to help you level up your character. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to get the key. And in a separate video, I'm going to show you guys exactly where you go to use the key. So if you guys like how that sounds, the like would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more Lords of the Falling content. So if you guys have progressed to the first boss, you're going to be familiar with this section. And you're going to go to this area right here. If you guys are already here, you pretty much already killed these ads. So you really don't have to worry about killing them anymore. You just got to make sure you're pretty quick on your feet. So what I'm going to do is you're going to head here, go down the ladder, and there is going to be another ladder here. Now, word of caution, I do want to let you guys know there are a lot of lot, uh, ads here that are hidden behind these boxes. So you're going to want to make sure you take them out before they take you out or if they goompa you off the ledge because that's one of the biggest problems when doing this run and trying to get this key is these ads will literally kick you out of there and you'll be able to kind of fall to your death. Now, I want to know from you guys in the comment section below if you're trying to get this key, if you guys fell from the ledge or if you got pushed by one of the ads, please let me know in the comment section below. I think it would be kind of fun to see how many people actually fell and or how many of you were actually getting in one just complete go. That's why I made this video to kind of help you guys out to avoid falling to your death and having to do this repeatedly. Now, one thing to note that the game does is like really kind of funny because when you jump over these little things, you do like a tumbleweed roll and you could pretty much roll yourself off of the ledge here. So just keep that in mind. Now, there are items here that you're able to collect. So if you're doing this for the first time, make sure you guys collect these items. I already went through this once and I got goomped. So uh, I didn't collect them but if you guys are going through there are a lot of items to collect so as you guys see right here this ad is hiding once again behind these boxes so you want to avoid that as much as you possibly can now we're going to make our way up here there's going to be like these four ads I, if you guys are a mage i would probably take them away from distance if you are a strength build character or melee character make sure you guys get close to the wall so if you do get melee or you get hit you're not getting pushed off the ledge like by this guy here that I, you know, I'm trying to kick him off the ledge, but he just doesn't want to budge, right? Now, after you guys kill these guys, it's just a matter of continuing working your way around this platform. And this is going to be a very tricky spot right here, guys. There is a box right here, as you guys hear here in the distance. And I'm going to try to get this ad without going over because that one is the one that goomba me. And I want to make sure he doesn't goomba me again. Because as soon as I turned the corner, he hit me and kicked me off of the ledge. So I was able to take them out now and we're good to go. Now, when you turn this corner, there's going to be a hallway and a corridor that has three ads. If you're a mage, take them out. And don't forget about that guy that's hitting there in the corner because he could goopa you out as well. And now we're going to take out this ad. And there is one more sniper, which I like to call him, further in the back. If you're a melee character, you're going to want to get up close and personal. If you're a mage, just do what I'm doing and cast your spells upon him. Now... But you cast your spells upon him, you should be good to go. And there's going to be an elevator. Now, for me, since I already did this once, I don't have the elevator there. But if you did do it already once, just call in the pull the lever, and that's going to bring the elevator down. Now, I did want to let you guys know after I kill this ad that if you're doing this for your first run, I'm going to show you a location where there is an item that you want to want to pick up so you guys don't miss it. So, you guys go further back here into this back area. Yeah, there's going to be a dead body, and he's going to have an item for you to pick up, so make sure you guys pick it up. Now, once we're in the elevator, we're going to make our way back up the elevator and make sure that we are good to go and step on that little platform. And that's going to bring the elevator upstairs, and this is where the key is kind of going to be, you know, able to be obtained. Now, you got to make sure you're careful because what tends to happen here is that there are going to be some tricky stuff that you're going to want to make sure you know, and that's what you have me here for. So... What we're going to go here, guys, is we're going to go straight forward. There's going to be a dead body, and there's also going to be a guy you could siphon. That dead body has a item that allows you to change the color of your gear. I forgot the name of the item, but you want to pick that up. And this one right here is really cool because if you are in the umber world, you could actually rest here, and that will take you into the living world. So just letting you guys know so you guys could rest there if you guys came from the umber world. Now that you're in the living world, you're just going to continue going here and... In this area, there is going to be an item that you're going to want to collect while you're in Umbra. So what you want to do, guys, once you go to this corner in the middle, there's going to be this kind of, uh, you know, memory. So collect that memory so you can get that item that drops so you guys can have enough stuff to purchase for whenever you get to the ad that sells the, uh, you know, the uh, gear from the bosses. So after you guys said that, you're going to go ahead and see this corridor. Now, if you're in the Umbra world, you're going to see like, a, you know, kind of like a pathway that carries over. 
Uh, and there is a dead wall there. What you want to do is you want to do this. It's while you're in the living world, you're going to use your lamp. And then once your lamp is ready, you're going to drop down. Now, if you've done this for the first time, there's going to be a body with an item there. And he actually drops a really good cleaver that's really powerful for strength build. So you're going to want to pick that up. But once you get to this location, you're going to go ahead and summon the dead world. And this is where you got to get your Nikes on and ready to go because... There's an enemy here that is pretty, pretty powerful that you're going to want to avoid. So you're going to make your way up this bridge and make a quick left. And don't get stuck like I did here uh, because that messed me up a little bit. And you're going to want to go ahead and siphon this. When you siphon this, this is going to spit out a little yellow sphere. And that little sphere is the actual key that we need to get it going. This is the sky rest key that's going to give us access to this awesome secret room that has some amazing stuff. Now, you could actually stop here and rest if the ads are not next to you. But for me personally, the ads were next to me and they actually ended up killing me. But if you die, you're going to want to check out my video where I show you the secret location on how to get to the area where you're going to be using this key. Now, if you already picked the key, the key is going to be in your inventory. So you can just double check within your inventory just to make sure you guys went ahead and have the key. Once you have the key, check out my other video where I show you the secret location so you guys can know the items that are found within this key. It's going to be very good for any character, whether you're strength, magic, or whatever character you're going to want to go to the secret room. I would have put it in this video, but I didn't want to make the video too long because we're almost in seven minutes. But I do want to let you guys know that you got to get this key as quickly as you possibly can. Now, we're going to have you completely covered with more Lords of the Fallen, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss our videos. But if you want even more content, we have a second channel that is mostly dedicated on Lords of the Fallen, so make sure you guys check that out. Link is down below in the description, so make sure you guys follow us over there, and we will be streaming as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.